everyone, welcome. Today I'm gonna to be showing you my entire contemporary handbag collection. Hopefully this helps you with future purchases and styling. I'm gonna try and give you as much information as possible. That includes pricing, how I got the bag, if it's still available, how you can get the bag. So this is probably gonna be quite a long video, so prepare yourself accordingly. I have all of my information to the side, so if you see me looking, I'm just trying to make sure I don't forget anything for you. Let's start with this baby right here. This is my newest bag. I already have a love-hate relationship with this bag. I know it's like, how, how girl? But this is the Kira Woven Small Strap Shoulder Bag. I had the opportunity to get this bag for, I believe, $337. And because I just bought a bag the week before getting this one, I thought, no, I shouldn't do that. And I regretted it and I missed the opportunity to get that bag for that price. However, I still got it on sale for about $450 if I'm not including tax. What drew me to this bag is because it's woven. It does remind me of the Bottega bag. However, I'm actually not a huge fan of that bag, but I am a fan of the woven feature. And this bag features both suede and just like a regular, I think this is calf skin leather. This is the only bag I have with silver hardware. That did throw me off because I knew I was a gold girl, but I've actually realized it's quite versatile and I'm not afraid to mix metals, but a lot of my jackets actually do have silver hardware. Like my both of my leather jackets I think are silver, so it works out. Something that I have noticed about the bag that is a design flaw, unfortunately, and I've seen it on the website photos as well, which is why I didn't feel like trying to find another version of this bag and it was the last one in the boutique, so I'm dealing with it. But if you can see this white peeking through the weave, that is not on this side of the bag. And on the website, it seems to only be on one side of the bag, so that's quite interesting. This bag is no longer available for sale on the website. However, if you do go on the Tory Burch website and search this, it may be available at the boutique, which is how I got it, as well as I believe Nordstrom, um, Bloomingdale's may still have this bag available. They do make this in a mini size. This is not the mini. The mini is more square and the mini is simply a crossbody, so please be aware of that. The website describes this bag as Arctic with nickel hardware. I called it silver, my apologies. We are going to continue on with the Kira collection. This is the embroidered small velvet camera bag. I got this bag in 2021, also on sale. I got this bag for $269 from the website and it retails for 458. Unfortunately, this bag is no longer available on the website. However, you can find this bag on Poshmark and other secondhand sites online. We are going to move on to my favorite handbag in my collection. This is the Tory Burch Small Lee Radswell Double Bag. And oh, it's so gorgeous. I, I can't praise this bag enough. The Lee Radswell collection was inspired by the ex-princess and sister of Jacqueline Kennedy. This bag features five interior pockets and an adjustable crossbody strap. This color is shiso, named after an herb used in Japanese cooking. It has Italian suede with a smooth leather trim. It retailed for $898 and I bought it full price from the boutique. Sweet orange. This is the color that drew me to the Lee Radswell collection. When this bag was released, I couldn't afford it at the time, but fortunately, I was able to get my hands on it from Poshmark. The way you're supposed to strap the crossbody is on the back, but I don't like the way it looks and it feels awkward, so I strap it to the side. I bought this bag for $706 and I did get it authenticated, which I definitely recommend when buying secondhand. This is the double bag in tiger's eye with grained leather. It is the regular size of the bag. It's quite large on my frame. I don't see myself buying this size again, unless I do so in deep azure. If they come out with it, I'm hoping for the best. It features a sporty webbing strap, which is what actually drew me to the bag. 
I got this bag from the Real Real for $443. Please be careful when using that site. I have seen a lot of replicas. You can clasp this bag in the middle. You can do this for all of the sizes actually to secure any items if necessary. This is the small saddle bag in the shade Moose from the Lee Radswell collection. They don't make this style anymore. I hope that they bring it back in bright colors. It is timeless in a shape that I am drawn to for crossbodies. I got this bag in 2021 for $269 from the Tory Burch website. I believe it retails around $598. I've seen it secondhand as high as $495, so I'm sure it was around that price. I got so much use out of Moose that I decided I wanted it in black. It was no longer available on the website, so I found it at the Real Real in 2022 for $168 after applying a site credit. I have seen this bag replicated on both Poshmark and eBay, so please be careful if you decide to hunt it down. We have finally made it to the final bags in my Toy Bridge collection. These are a part of the Fleming line. This is the soft, small convertible bag. This shade is arugula. This bag features a push button clasp in gold hardware. I have no complaints about this bag. However, I do baby it. There are no feet, so if you decide to get it, you'll have to be careful about where on the bottom. I bought this bag on sale from the Toy Birch website in 2020 for $329. I love this bag so much, but it took a while to find another shade that I enjoyed, and I now have it in jackfruit. This bag features diamond quilting and lambskin leather with gold hardware and a magnetic clasp this time. I bought this on sale from the Neiman Marcus website in 2022 for $330. Mark Jacobs Tag Tote in the shade Igru. I got this in 2019. I put it through so much, I brutalized this bag. And the leather is still holding up amazingly. I definitely recommend getting this bag secondhand. So the next brand that I'm going to show you is Dooney & Burke. It is both of these saddle bags. I'm not gonna lie. Dooney & Burke is not my favorite brand, however, I remember watching QVC, if you don't know what that is, it's like a TV show that allows you to shop for items, it has catalogs. I would watch that show with both of my great grandmothers. And they both had very different styles, however they were both into Dooney and Burke. And I would sit there and I would pick out the bags that I liked. And I remember one time I went over to my great grandmother's house and I raided her closet and I took all the Dooney and Burke bags. She was no longer wearing them, so it was perfectly fine. <laughs> but it's just a sweet memory for me. And I do have another Dooney and Burke bag. These are not the only two I have. Technically, I do have one left at my great-grandmother's house or now it belongs to my uncle. However, that purse really hurts my shoulder and I don't have much space in my closet, so it can stay there. This is a shape of bag that I wear quite well. My mother got me this cream one and I get so much wear out of this bag. It is insane. And I get wear out of this bag in all season. This is probably the best gift or not the best gift, but one of the most used gifts that she has gotten me other than, you know, other gifts growing up, a recent gift. And I loved it so much that when I was looking for an exotic skin bag, not a real exotic skin, this is not real ostrich, but it does have the embossing. I don't know if that's the right word for this. And the color is just such a beautiful pale blue. So I decided to get it. I got it secondhand on eBay. This is the Tommy Beaded Bag from Stodd. It retails for $295. It is a beaded bag, so it's not durable. I have had some beads come loose, but it's to be expected. Because of this reason, I would recommend buying it from a small seller on Etsy, maybe. That would be much more sustainable. I do have some regrets about this bag because I don't get as much use out of it, and I know that it's not gonna hold up every time I wear it. However, I did get another color. I won't be getting any other colors though. This bag has one strap, a zipper pocket on the inside, and a magnetic closure on the back.
we are moving on to Michael Kors. This small clutch was gifted to me by two of my friends on my Sweet 16. I tend to wear it to special occasions or if I'm traveling, I'll put my makeup in here. You can even see a little makeup stain. I think that's in most of my bags at this point. I know this red bag looks like it can't fit anything in it, but I promise you it can. This is the mini Ava bag. I got it in 2018 from the boutique. It's great for a night out or when traveling to a busy city where I need my bag to be contained. I actually want to get this in the olive shade, but the seller I found it was selling it for about $100. And I'm pretty sure I bought this bag a few years ago for about $100. So I wasn't buying it secondhand for that price. I definitely recommend buying this though. It's everywhere, eBay, Poshmark. You can find this bag anywhere secondhand. This is the Malibu Woven Straw Bag from Michael Kors. I got this bag in 2018 from the boutique. If I remember correctly, it retailed for about $100 and I bought it full price. This bag was hit hard by a wave while in a speedboat with some friends. It has discolored a bit. It ruined the shape due to the water expanding the straw before drying it. But it has not stopped me from wearing this bag every spring, fall, and summer. Moving on to Coach, these were both gifted to me by my mother. I believe this black bag is one of the oldest left in my collection. I got this in 2016. I don't wear either this bag or the clutch too often. However, I keep it because it's a great work bag. Watching this video, I realized this bag is a little bit dirty, so I do apologize for that. We have made it to the final brand in my collection, Kate Spade. I got this pink metallic bag in 2017. It was a gift from my mom. I remember we went out on Black Friday and I was like, oh my gosh, I need that color. And I still wear this bag so frequently. I am in love with it. This next bag, I don't actually get a lot of use out of it. It's something about the shape. Like the color's fine. I think maybe if it was softer, it'd be great. But it was gifted to me by my mom and I'm just gonna try and wait a little bit longer and see if I find use for it before deciding to pass it down to my little sisters or see if my mom would like the bag back. I know some people um, find that harsh, but if she bought it and I'm not using it and she will, you know, someone should use it. I hope you enjoyed watching my collection. Many bags have come and gone. Most of my bags that have gone end up going back to my mother or to my siblings just because a lot of my older bags are the ones that have gone. And if they were gifted to me, I don't think it's right to sell them off. Like my little sisters are getting to that age where they really like fashion. I hope this helped you guys out. If you want any more information, such as uh, what fits in my bag or other ways to style it, just let me know. Please comment your favorite bag down below and maybe the next time that I film this, who knows when that will be, it might look completely different. Thank you for watching.